Hey guys, Forrest Proctor here, Epic Creative. Today's video, I wanna show you this reverse engineering hack that I've sort of come up with, sort of stolen from the internet on how to use Midjourney, Adobe Firefly, ChatGPT's Dolly to actually um, do your color grading. Um, and more specifically, I love uh, the process of color grading. Oftentimes I'll put on a podcast, one of my favorite parts of editing, to sit there and really fine tune all the colors. But I do find it hard because I'm not a professional color colorist to get it consistent throughout time on something like a wedding or a documentary also there's a lot of like film looks that i would really like to achieve in the past it's been really hard but with this trick i found that um yeah you can do it uh, pretty easily and it's honestly changing the whole color game for me so let's get straight into it let's go to the computer all right guys so you can see here i've just got some sample footage of a wedding that i shot recently in fairhope alabama beautiful beautiful wedding um these are just some shots of the first look that's happening under these beautiful live oaks with the moss and the light peeking through and so i think it would be cool to just edit some of these shots and show you how i color match with these and also if important to note if you're using uh davinci resolve or final cut you can do this exact same thing just pay attention and apply the concepts all right so let's let's jump into i got a message somewhere what the heck was that let's jump into dolly um here in chat gpt and i'm gonna show you kind of my prompt process for this so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to tell it to generate a 16 by 9 cinematic image of a wedding taking place under some live oaks in the south. The color grade should be warm tones with blue and green the blue and greens with the blue and greens popping as well and you can actually tell it to do different film stocks and you could say you know do the matrix or do pulp fiction color grade or whatever you want it'll do it i do want to do it kind of more simply like this like almost in layman terms um, of what i want to see what happens but yeah i think uh also should have a vintage vibe like we're adding all kind of like weird keywords in here but we're gonna try it so let's go ahead and generate that and see what dolly does now while that's processing i will say this say you're doing a wedding and the first image you are going to put in uh here it is okay this is really cool i like this i like this image you can see it's outside um it's kind of like the reception or maybe even the ceremony now what you want to do is when you find like your hero image the image you want to emulate all across the board what i will do is i will put that same prompt with this as an example in dolly and i will tell it to generate this same color scheme or this same color grade but in a bridal suite with a bride getting ready or uh, under a tent at night at a reception with guests dancing so what i'll do is i'll basically emulate that in different scenes inside of dolly and that way when i pull it into premiere um not the the inside scenes with this scene's not gonna color the same but if you have a consistency of images that you're going by uh, it works really well and we'll we'll do a little bit of that uh, or i'll show you a little bit of that in just a second so i really like these i really like this one so we're going to go ahead and download that um pop over here and i've got a little folder in here just called ai and you can see i've already got some some other color grades in there that i use but just for fun let's take this one and pull it into premiere pro so what you're going to do is make it local pull it into premiere and as you can see in my source window, there it is. Bam, bam, bam. Now, let's go find ourselves a hero shot. That's a pretty good hero shot, if I don't say so myself. If I do say so myself. Um, so we're going to take that shot right there. It's like the thumbnail, I think, <laughs> of the actual wedding. So we're going to drag this and put it above and just kind of over. And you want to fill that frame. So just, and you're going to delete this. Like, this is not a big deal we want this to fill the frame i've got some weird like sidebars going on there so let's just fill the frame come on come on fill the frame that'll work so there's our image there's our hero shot now while you're clicked on that come over here to lumetri color and you're gonna click on uh, color wheels and match of course you've got the color wheels here you got face detection you got all kind of cool stuff click comparison view okay 
Now in comparison view, you're going to slide over, slide over to the right until you find that beautiful southern tungsten slash teal image that I think is pretty ballin'. Like I actually really like, I don't know, dramatic um, golden hour looks like this. And we're going to see if it'll apply this to this image here. So while you're on there, on your right in the color wheels and match, you're going to see a button that says apply match. It's going to apply it here to this image because I'm hovered over that and I've clicked on it. And that's the image that I'm editing. So we're going to click apply match. Let's see what it does right off the bat. I think it does pretty well. It didn't do as well as um, when I actually edited the entire wedding initially, but it's it's still pretty good. It's a good working spot. Um, and I click it again, click it again, it does the same thing. I think what's really not working for me is there's no blues visible, so you're not getting that blue stuff. Um, so I tell you what, let's just undo that and let's go find another hero shot where maybe there is some blues visible. I wanna make sure it gets that part right so that it looks like I want it to look. Um, we gotta go back here and find our source image. There's our source image, we're hovered on that. Same thing, apply match. Um, yeah, that's a little bit closer. Now, what you want to do is you don't want to just rely on that. Like you're going to come in and you're going to fine tune just a tad bit here. Of course, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of the curve work as well. I can see that blue popping out like it's supposed to, I believe. But if we come in here to HLS secondary and find that blue, I just want that blue like a little bit more saturated and yeah ultimately that's not exactly the same obviously you're not going to get it exactly the same now i will say the first time i edited this wedding and we'll go to that project it did really really well but i'm basically showing you the steps and it's not going to come out perfect right off the bat maybe we'll even go into basic correction and we'll boost that saturation instead of 100 i put 110 not incredibly noticeable but it does add a little bit of saturation now we're going to copy this and come back um get out of this comparison view real quickly get out of comparison view get rid of that and we'll come back to that original hero shot that we saw and we liked and we'll paste and the other thing to note is this is not going to do all your curve work for you um this is just kind of like to get the look you're going for uh, and another thing too is like you know it needs to kind of match and maybe if we go back here something i could have done i could say great lighten up the scene a bit you know it, those images that we generated here were like a little bit dark and i just kind of went with it that one I, that's why i didn't go with that one but it does help to try to create the same scene like lighting wise that you're using on your film um, let's see here whoops that's not it i mean actually that looks pretty good and then if we just play with our curves a bit get all the contrast like we want it toggle on and off okay cool and then you know you'll go shot by shot copy and pasted your main thing you can also export this as a lut too so there's like a lot of applications for this um, but we're going to jump back over here to mid journey i asked it to lighten up the scene it it didn't lighten up the scene at all in fact it looks like there's a rainstorm coming with a with a uh, sunrise. I mean, I still really, really like this stuff, but okay, I'll regenerate same scene with a light and airy look, very bright. Giving it really like elementary prompts here just to see what happens. I will go to my other um, thread to show you and I'll show you the project here in a second. In fact, while that's generating, let's go over here to the actual wedding film. Now this is uh, totally different. Whoops, let me mute that. This is totally different coloring. Uh, not incredibly different, but it is different. And as you can see, it's, it's all got a really nice color to it. Still pretty warm, but the greens are also saturated. I really, really like it. And if I come over here to my project files and I look at AI colors, you can see the example images that I started with. Um, this is actually like the main one. So looking at those two, that did a really good job. And we'll just play it and you can see the color on your left was like the main thing. And then I used that image to build off of. So I told it, you know, same color, but 
you know, Brad's getting ready and that's a, like a really creepy image. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Oh my God, there's like a set of legs under here. <laughs> Didn't see that before, um, but I used that. And then also they got married in like a cathedral. So I tried to, you know, take that same coloring and apply it to the inside of a building, which if we go forward, I think it came out pretty, pretty good. Let's get inside the church, please. I'm bad at Premiere today. I just like skipped all the way to the reception. But you can see, yeah, I, th I think it came out pretty close. And then for the reception, I kind of told it what the scene would look like. Same same basic coloring. And the for the professional colorist out there, like I totally get this is ridiculous and probably not right in your eyes. But for me, it works. And it's inspiring, like it makes coloring like fun again um it's always been like enjoyable to me but it's making it like super fun again so we're coming back here light and airy this is a little closer to the original stuff that i did um it's got a lot of bloom to it too but you can play with that of course you know most weddings aren't going to be under a bunch of live oaks uh, maybe if you're down here in mobile they will be but yeah you know yours might be somewhere else and you're just gonna have to paint that scene for yourself um but yeah looking at this the rest of this wedding and if we want to we can sometimes I like to do this like get an eagle's eye view i'll kind of scroll through it and see how consistent the color is across the board and i think it's pretty consistent and if you guys go to the facebook group i'll put a link in the description um it's the AI for Creative Business Owners Facebook group. You'll see I posted a bunch of images side by side just to show you like the consistency of color. Of course, you still got to do work. This is not like a plug and play or just does it for you type of thing. Um, you've still got to do some work and I like to do the work. I just like to be inspired and know that I have like some creative control. Another thing you can do is with the color match, you can go straight to your favorite film. You know, there's a lot of guys on YouTube that I really like their colors and I've, Mark Bones, one of them, I've gone to his films and taken screenshots and just seen if I could match the color and it worked really, really well. Um, but let's go back to ChatGPT and we're gonna go to my original thread. Um, da, 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 that's not it, that's the one I was just showing you guys. Um, sorry, gotta get to it. Um, wedding film color grades. Okay, you can see in this, uh, I've done a lot, like I've got some other stuff that I'll probably make a video on that I wanna color grade, some like neon stuff I shot in downtown Batesville, Arkansas. Um, but yeah, I, I told it, you know, I was actually here referencing lots of like Kodak Vision 2, 500T, 5218, film stock. Um, so you can get really specific and here's like a matrix look. Um, here's another Kodak film stock that I really like. Um, and for like urban projects, documentaries, this will be more of the speed that I go. Today I just had the wedding up, so I figured I would show you guys. Um, this is actually the Joker's coloring. I thought it did pretty good, like the Joker movie. Um, I'm working on a corporate commercial right now for a dog food brand, and there's some scenes in a library that are supposed to be like real corporate, bright, inviting. So I've got these images I'm gonna play with to do that. And then of course, like you guys just saw, I didn't like this one, it had a little bit too much pink and magenta tones. This came out a lot better. Of course, we generated these images to reference. And then for fun, me and my brother were doing some Wes Anderson um, Asteroid City looking stuff. So again, guys, if you're using Final Cut or you're using DaVinci, I know DaVinci has the shot match and I know Final Cut has a shot match as well. So don't, you know, don't feel like you can't do this if you're using those. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you would like and subscribe, it helps me make more videos, but honestly, I'm gonna make more videos anyway. And if you haven't joined the Facebook group for uh, the, um, it's the AI for creative business owners, uh, definitely do that. We created that a couple weeks ago and it's been uh, going really well. And there we'll share all kinds of different tips on uh, writing scripts, getting clients, Facebook ads, um, editing, using AI in any way we can to boost our creativity and our um, productivity. So yeah, definitely do that. And yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.